Hello. Twitch chat, welcome. YouTube, welcome to a Wednesday night magic event with the Mythic Society Weekly. Um, you may have noticed a stream slash YouTube video did not go up for last Saturday's challenge. That would be because I wasn't super feeling playing in last Saturday's challenge. I did technically play round one versus Dredge, and that made me want to play even less. So I, uh, I, I exited the challenge and, and went to the, to the city. And I got drunk with my friends, so much better use of my time. <laughs> so sorry that there was no video from last Saturday. It was a little bit of a break and a, kind of a needed one at that. So we're back today, Wednesday. We're going to play in the Mythic Society Weekly, and then maybe we'll play in the uh, Magic Online Prelim after. Uh, for the Mythic Society Weekly tonight, we have got a sweet brew. This is Karate Dumb's brew. Karate Dumb put together a 5-0 with a very similar uh, blue-black rogues list. Now, I've made some changes from Karate Dome's original list. They're not huge. I think I took out, like, a Gush, something I didn't vibe, a couple cards I didn't vibe, and then I, I put in some, some, more, uh, some more spice, some more schemes. Uh, but for the most part, it's their same list, and you'll see it go, you'll see it go live on the, on the Polish deck lists next week, I think. Um, so what are we looking at? What are we looking at? We're looking at Rogue Tribal. So we have 12 Rogues. We have the four Thieves Guild Enforcers and four... Soaring Thief, Thought Thieves, and four Opposition Agent, a Rogue. All having Flash, which is kind of nice. Works pretty well with Flusterstorm. Um, and then I also noticed that all 12 of these cards work pretty well with Scheming Symmetry. Now, you've probably not seen Scheming Symmetry. This is a card that people thought might be vintage playable. Uh, not, or at least vintage players didn't think that, but the, the WotC uh, card creators did think that. Um, it's a two-sided Imperial Seal. So it's a sorcery. Two players search their library, put a card. Uh, each player puts a card on the top of their library and then shuffles. Or shuffles, then puts a card on top of the library. It wouldn't do much if it was the other way around. Um, so the synergy with Opposition Agent is <laughs> you Imperial Seal, and you also Demonic Tutor from their library, which is mm, nice interaction. And then the combo with these cards is that um, if a rogue enters a battlefield uh, or this thing attacks uh, some rogue stuff, uh, it mills two cards, so you would mill the card that they tutored. Um, so it's a little bit of a fun of. Uh, it works pretty well with Opposition Agent is the big one. Uh, the rest of this deck is pretty straightforward. Restricted Blue Spells, Preordain, Flusterstorm, Force of Will. You're playing a full Moxin Mana Suite, a big blue Mana Suite, to play your Opposition Agent ahead of Curve, so you can also afford to put a Tinker Citadel in your deck. Not the best Tinker Citadel deck, but Tinker Citadel is pretty broken, so you kind of want to do that anyways. Um, and then five Strip Mines to go with your flashy tempo plan. Uh, uh, graveyard Hate, Artifact Hate, Spell Hate, Creature Hate, and an extra basic, and a Vice of Colossus. Makes pretty makes pretty good sense. Yeah, cool. You've 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 made bug slasher. That's not what we're doing here. <laughs> yes, Death Rite Shaman and Wasteland, powerful synergy. But um, that's not what we're doing with this deck. We're playing rogues and we're playing uh, big blue mana shell with Tinker. So, okay, Twitch chat. We're on round one. We're playing against Marlin. Marlin is on. What is Marlin on? Marlin is on Esper combo with forces, uh, but also playing four Rest in Peace, two Helm of Obedience, two Thassa's Oracle, uh, Tinker Sphinx, Paradigm Shift, Demonic Consultation. So it's like a Thassa's Oracle Tinker combo deck that's also on Rest in Peace Helm with the Ley Lines in the board along with some Wishes. And a mentor. Interesting. So it's a combo deck game one and then a Esper control deck game two. Very interesting list. Let's see what we can do. Uh, Rest in Peace is pretty reasonable against me. Uh, hold on. All right. Good thing is nobody uh, drew any cards. So. We had to just re remake this lobby because Magic Online chose to make Hermit Druid my starting deck tonight instead of the one that I was looking at and editing because uh, that makes sense. Where is it? 
rogues. Thank you, Magic Online. All right. Let's try, let's try again. All right. All right, this is a good hand. I've got a turn one opposition agent. Wastelands. Ancestrals. Let's do it. So, my opponent does have a, a fetch land mana base, but this looks like one of their three basic islands. Ponder and Ruby. They're on a full um, big blue mana suite, even including mana vault. All right, well, they know about my opposition agent now that they've seen uh, my hand with Cataxian Probe. So, we're probably just going to resolve it on our turn. Not that there's many things that can counter it on their turn. Uh, but the question will be, do we play out Soul Ring? Um, and the reason I ask that question is because they could have Mental Misstep, which would be detrimental to us casting Opposition Agent this turn. Don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to cast Opposition Agent and see if it resolves. Um, not a must force by any means for my opponent, but it is pretty annoying if my opponent, uh, has, oops, that's not the right card as uh, fetches in their hand. If they don't have fetches and they just have um, non-basic lands, we have Wasteland. But we also have uh, two things that require colored mana, so we'll have to see. So they do have another non-fetch, non-basic here. Trying to like, look at my opponent's list and see what they're doing. Their four Flusterstorm is a whole lot of Flusterstorms. Demonic Tutor, uh, that's not a good card to cast into Opposition Agent. Uh, so I will take a quick picture of their deck and find out what is exactly in their hand. And then um, I, I will tutor for Ancestral, I guess. Uh, they have four cards in their hand. Those cards are... Let's see. I might not be able to do this very fast, so I might just choose not to do this. Uh, no, the Fluster Storms. Where are the Force of Wills? There are no Force of Wills. One rest in peace. Uh, one rest in peace. Helm. Sphinx. Tinker. Narsa. Four preordains. They've already used a preordain. Uh, I'm trying to figure this out quickly. Not negation. Are, is it lands? No, two islands, one delta, so it's a delta, uh, delta, flooded strand, scalding tarn, no, not scalding tarn, uh, two helm is the number of helms, valerian, four moxen, mana vault, mana crypt, soul ring, Delta, Soul Ring, and... I don't feel like finding the other one. I got three of them. Uh, I'm just going to put this Ancestral into Exile. What did we miss? Uh, nope, it wasn't Consult. Brainstorm. Mental Misstep. Mystical Dispute. Vampiric Tutor. I'm, like, going through them all over here. Gosh. Uh... Paradigm shift? No. Ponder? It's ponder. Okay. So they ha their hand is rest in peace, delta, soul ring, ponder. You saw soul ring in the library? Oh, soul ring was in the library. You're right. So rest in peace, delta, and two unknowns, I guess. I'm look I have the picture of their library over here. And I'm trying to compare it to the list, but it's just so hard. <laughs> All right, um, so yeah, I don't think my opponent should have cast a Tutor into my opposition agent, but this does happen. Uh, it's not force unless they drew force. What do I want to do? I could do a lot of things. 
Uh, I could demonic for a black lotus. Four mana, two mana, five mana. I could do that, but I kind of think that just casting this ancestral is better. Uh, and now, would I rather just wasteland them? No, I think I would rather just get a force. I'm trying to figure out how I lose. No, I guess, yeah, I, I just think that, I guess Tinker Sphinx is annoying. I'm just going to get a Force of Will. Oh, I guess at this point we should just put the Citadel in play. No, I'm out of mana for that, right? I'm one mana short. I think I'm just going to Force. Oh, they can't even tutor. Well, then the next way they kill me is Rest in Peace Helm. So, I don't know. I don't think we can die from here. We're gonna next turn we'll have Wasteland, we'll get a blue card, we'll hold up Force Flusterstorm, probably get Ancestral Recall. We know they have a rest in peace in their hand, so I guess their best like thing is to play rest in peace and then play Helm of Obedience, right? I think just letting rest in peace resolve is fine. They could technically play Helm here. I guess we could also get Thassa's Oracle Paradigm shifted, right? That's a, that card exiles the remove all cards from the library, and then shuffle your graveyard into your library. Yeah, so they, that's the other way they could kill us. So. I'm going to Wasteland their Academy and then tutor a blue card with my Demonic Tutor. And then we'll hold up a uh, Force Bluster Opposition Agent. I'll just get Ancestral Recall as well. This is Magic the Gathering Online. Your one-stop shop for Eternal Magic the Gathering. Look at all those Moxen. Look at them all. Um, definitely going to just make this a two-turn clock by playing another Opposition Agent. Okay, it looks like Marlin has had enough. So... If my opponent had not cast Demonic Tutor into Opposition Agent, how much of a... Th how, how threatened are we? Maybe a little bit. So now we have to determine if, um, let's do this. We have to determine if they're going to sideboard into Sedgemore Witch Control, or if they're going to stay uh, as combo. So in their sideboard, they have four Leyline, four Witches and Mentors, plus Swords to Prowlshares, Fragmentizes and Fractures. Uh, yeah, so my cards aren't really for, um, what my opponent is doing. No. Um, there's about nothing I care about. Our graveyard is not a huge deal. No. Mag, thanks for the prime. Appreciate that. This rogue thing? No, it doesn't really matter. Like... They still attack. Sure, they don't get bigger, but... What do you want me to sideboard in? Like, I can sideboard in Fluster Storms, but the Fluster Storms don't counter any of my opponent's most powerful cards. Besides, I guess, Tinker? I don't know. Like, I, can, I could take out some Thieves if you want. I guess this is the less powerful one, and we can play some more Flusters. I don't know. I don't know what you. I don't know what you want me to tell me. My opponent is playing four rest in peace. Like, sure, my cards might not be good against the four rest in peace deck. I don't really think we care about having removal for this witch. 
Yeah, I guess what we can do is we can just take out all the of the ones on the ground and just keep the. Well, I guess I don't know. Does it matter? <laughs> we just counter their cards that matter and we win, right? Mm. This hand's pretty sus. I think I'd rather put it back. Uh, yeah, this is fine. I'm just gonna put this symmetry back. Have force demonic. Basic island. Play around wasteland. No shuffle on their ponder. See what we draw. Survey says. Fluster storm. They have a daze in their deck. They do not have a daze in their deck. Uh, I guess I'll still play. They don't have traps either, so. I'm just going to demonic for... What am I going to demonic for? Tinker. Tinker seems good. It's not great against four fluster storms from the opponent, but I don't know. Our hand's like very counter heavy. If we were to draw land, we'd have fluster and force. I think I like that. Bottom, bottom on their preordain after they kept two cards off of their ponder. Probe, see my plan. Probably hold open fluster at this point. Any reason I prefer vintage to other formats? Um, yeah, there's a lot of reasons. I like Playing with old and powerful cards, the decks in Vintage I find to be more enjoyable than playing other formats. Um, I'm also a lot better at Vintage than other formats, that helps. It's also kind of a niche um, community on Magic Online and actually in paper, which makes it easier for me to make content, easier to make uh, friends, small, but it's still competitive. It's like a, I think it's like the premier casual competitive format in my mind. Second fluster is pretty bad here. Uh, I, I assume you're talking about Magic Online and not Paper, because it's basically impossible to play Paper Vintage, but uh, Online Vintage is not that much expensive than other formats. I would use a rental service and try it out. Uh, if you can look on Magic Online, uh, MTG Goldfish has uh, the decks that are in the format and how much they cost via tickets, then you figure out how much it costs you to rent the decks. So if you like went to Magic, uh, if you went here and you were just like show MTGO prices, they're a little bit more expensive nowadays because of Force of Will, Force of Negation, and Wasteland are high costs. So you're looking between, you know, 400 tickets and 800 tickets, and then I don't know what rental prices run you. So these were not the cards we wanted to see. Well, I mean, the the opposition agent isn't bad, but I really just wanted to see. An untapped blue source here. I think I'm still supposed to take the tapped blue source and then just be sad if we get combo killed. But there are other decks. It, could, it depends on what you want to play. A blue deck is going to cost you the most in Vintage because Force of Will and Force of Negation are 80 tickets each. But rental services, from what I understand, are pretty affordable. So I would go with that route. Uh, yes, you've resolved a Helm of Obedience. Uh, not much I can do about what's happening in this current game. That's a great draw, though. Force, pitching force, zero cards in hand. So they know we had force, so it just doesn't matter. Force, pitching force, or force, pitching fluster, and I have another force and fluster. So this resolves, I get a Citadel, and I get to combo off. Um, and I still have a Force for like a Rest in Peace off their top, so. 
Yeah, I'm not the I'm not the best person to ask about rentals. Uh, I just don't, I don't use rentals, so. But there's plenty of people in chat who can help you out for that. Ticks are basically dollars. You can buy ticks from the store for a dollar, or you can buy ticks from Magic Online Grinders for 85 cents per ticket. Um, there's a ton of there's a ton of Magic Online Grinders who will very willingly sell you tickets at 85 cents uh, per. Um, I mean, you you don't so like there are a lot of reasons to rent. One is like you don't want to pay the upfront cost of 800 dollars. Two, you want to switch decks between different decks. Um, three, you don't want to have a bunch of money tied into digital objects. There's a bunch of reasons that people will give you. Uh, let's both top deck tutor. They could mill me, which is kind of funny, but I think I'm just going to put Time Walk on my top of library. And it doesn't matter what they put on their top of library because it will get milled when I attack with this thief. Fatal Push was not exactly the card we wanted to see on the top of our library here. Well, I mean, tickets can be 85 cents going in if, as long as you don't buy them from the store. There are plenty of trader... Uh, there are, like, businesses that you can buy them from. There are players you can buy them from so um i think i'm willing to fatal push my own thief just to continue going off here Ugh. i'm a little worried about a mana crypt in my life total but i drew another fatal push okay yeah these fatal pushes are really coming back to bite me so i hope we don't lose this game to our like our own mana crypt here it's definitely very possible now Maybe they'll mill me. Please mill me. Sweet. Oh, they hit a thief. And now I don't have a fatal push. They hit a thief in the top two cards. Well, it's pretty good. Uh, we might lose this game. They did lose their Helm of Obedience, so they can no longer combo, but we put a Mana Crypt in play, and they have a 2-3 that's attacking us, and we lost both of our Fatal Pushes. Uh, we could very easily lose this game. I think we played poorly. I probably should not have Fatal Pushed my own stupid thing to continue going off, but I probably shouldn't even have Fatal Pushes in my deck, because, I don't know, I listen to chat, but I shouldn't have Fatal Pushed in my deck. Oh boy, I think we're gonna die. I was too busy talking about renting to think of the actual correct plays, and I think we played miserably bad. Yeah, we're at seven now. This costs two. Uh, Symmetries goes down to four. I can't even tinker it away. I don't think I have anything in my deck that gets rid of a mana crypt anymore besides this Citadel. Pretty sure we're going to lose this game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just, like, ruined our chances of winning this game because I, I have nothing left in my deck to get rid of this Mana Crypt. That was really bad of me. Um, I also can't cast this because my opponent is going to get to Demonic Tutor. I guess I can let them cast this because I have all these counter spells. But... Uh, so I could... Is there a top in my list? No top in my list? Good gosh, this list is not great. Yeah, I don't really see how we win this game anymore, actually. I guess I need to opposition agent uh, something from them. No, I think Gush is quite bad in the five strip mine deck. So it does seem to be that my opponent gave me a game and I'm probably going to give one back by Fatal Pushing my own Thief and playing a Mana Crypt for no reason and having my opponent hit a creature as the underneath card, which was not great for Justin. But 
but uh, I guess I theoretically can win every flip. But don't know. Strip mine. Sure. Ruby. Days, man. Um, I really don't. I can use the symmetry, but I will have a problem with them attacking back and putting me at lethal range of this mana crypt. I just need to get another one in play, probably. Uh, trying to weasel my way out of this misplay is fairly challenging. Did we bring in every fatal push? No, we didn't even bring in every fatal push. Um... Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm allowed to cast this. I guess I could be allowed to cast this, and I just counter my opponent's spell. And I just put, like, a an opposition agent on the top of my library, or another Soaring Sky Thief. Maybe that's fine. I think it's okay to let them draw a card because I have these counter spells. I don't want to cast this for three life because of my mana crypt. They probably should have cracked it in response to the uh, the scheming symmetry, but they're gonna do it afterwards. So they lose their tutored card. Now there's no Yog Will in this deck. There maybe there should be. You shouldn't usually have any problem winning after a Citadel resolves. We got kind of unlucky by hitting our two waste uh, our two fatal pushes. Um. So yeah. But my opponent is actually not untapping their mana vault, so they're going to almost go to 10 soon. They're going to attack and mill me. Why? Oh, just to mill the opposition agent that we tutored for? Um, I guess, yeah, that makes sense, but kind of risky if I hit 10 creatures and Moxon. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Oh, I milled two opposition agents. It's so sad. That is so sad. Uh, that's definitely going to drastically hurt our chances of getting 10 permanents in play that I can sacrifice. Uh, 10 non-land permanents. All right, another mana crypt flip. I lost that one, so now I'm at two. So I can't even attack back. Ancestral go to one, I guess. Sure. Looking for ten permanents here. Would they top deck? A fluster storm? Sure. I can pay for a fluster storm. I do have that power. Alright, so what we're looking for here is some creatures to cast off of our mana and some moxin off the top and get up to ten things in play. I drew three lands, which drastically hurts my chances of actually doing anything. Wonderful. All right. Well, I, I threw away this game by playing poorly. I just wasn't, didn't think it mattered, and I played kind of badly.
Definitely should not have played my mana crypt or fatal pushed my own thought thief. Ah, <sighs> yikes. It's not like we have Witch in the deck to make a bunch of things. Maybe there should be a Witch in the deck. That's definitely a playable card that we could play. Uh, Witch would be pretty good right now, because I could play a Witch, counter a spell. My opponent is talking about me sacking 10 permanents, but I don't have 10 non-land permanents, which is required. Uh, I lost two flips in a row, so yeah. God, I played that game so badly. I got punished as I justly deserved. But uh, I do think that the way we ran with the cards that were on top for our two Citadel turns was quite unfortunate, but that is something that happens when you don't play top and stuff like that. I'm really off of this Fatal Push idea. I'm going to put some more Thieves Guild Enforcers back in my deck. I think Fluster is still fine, but... I really wish I had not put Fatal Pushes in my deck, because that was half the issue. <sighs> Alright, let's try again. This hand is not playable. Yo, QCPU, thank you for the seven months. Appreciate it. I got the exact same Force of Will Mana Crypt Wasteland hand. All right, maybe we'll just bow out of this tournament after that. Fuck. It's pretty sad. Okay, this is not a bad one. I've definitely had worse hands than this. I do have to put away two cards, though, and so I have to either put away... The Mox Opal, the Mox Pearl. I think I want to put away Mox Pearl. I think I want to put away Opposition Agent Force. This is like I'm totally gonna draw a land if I do this. Now let's let's do Opposition Agent Land and just try to draw a land. Uh, I think this is the best way to commit to the Agent Plan. My opponent kept a six-card hand, and did they skip their turn? Or they don't have a land? Well, I... I don't have a land either, so I guess go back to you. I didn't have six through their turn, so like I gave them a second stop. So it, theoretically, I don't think they misclicked. I think they just kept a no-lander. This is some spicy games of Magic the Gathering. Oh, Swords to Plowshares. Ancestral Recall. Yeah, I'll cast it. They probably have double force, right? No. Okay. Um, I'm going to do Time Walk Preordain, and that way I can hold up, uh, Luster Opposition Agent. Scheming Symmetry. Yeah, this works for me. So I'll just take both of these, and then what we'll do is we'll play Opposition Agent this turn, and then we'll do tu Tutor for their Ancestral on the next turn. Yeah, so, I don't know, these were the very odd games of Magic the Gathering. Yeah. <laughs> they, they drew a land, but it was a, it was a polluted delta, so not great for my opponent. Alright, so now let's go get their Ancestral Recall, or their Time Walk. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I I don't know. I don't know what happened, chat. I I I am as perplexed as anyone. We'll take it after what was not our best showing. Welcome to round two. Playing against Rodney. Rodney is on not a spicy meatball. Uh, Rodney is on Horror One, which is a highly rated deck in the metagame with a high win percentage, but a very low play percentage, only a couple pilots. It's a Bizarre Baghdad, a uh, Squee control deck, plays a bunch of free spells. Really, really cool. Um, we do have a Wasteland, which is a great card against this deck, so we'll keep. I know that we have three uncastable cards in our hand, but that is something you have to live with. Woo -hoo -hoo. Matt turns 21 again. Thank you, Matt. Hope you're doing well. Bazaar of Baghdad makes you do very funny things like keep island three black spells. Hopefully, my opponent casts two Gunrokian Horrors. Uh-oh. That's fine. Uh, this Horrors are not placed in the correct order, but I don't know if that's because of the bug or because Rodney messed up. So both these Horrors should go back to Rodney's hand, but I don't know if it's because of a bug or not. There is a, currently a bug on Magic Online where you can't order the Cards, I have a Wasteland for your Bazaar. So as long as they don't have another Bazaar, we, can, we are allowed to play Magic today. If they have a second Bazaar, we are in Deep Doo-Doo. Um, Ah, another another black card. Perfect. Just how I drew it up. It's still okay as long. Oh, that is unfortunate. All right, it's no longer okay. Uh, they have a clock. We don't have an island. But if as long as we draw a fetch land, hmm, this is unfortunate. And they drew a bazaar of Baghdad. Fantastic. Squee Kravokin or Ruwala? Yikes. And a hollow one. Oh. Well, that's bad. I thought we were vastly ahead. Uh, it turns out that is not the case. Uh, do I want to play more? Nope. It's game. I actually run zero swaps. So. It's okay. We've got uh, Jailers and Rav Traps and... Lightsteel Colossus. Maybe you could even play Flusterstorm if you wanted to. Um, man, my cards are just not very good. I think my deck is just unplayable. Side, I mean, I can, but it doesn't doesn't really help me. The thieves can have death touch, so they can uh, they can block hollow one. Theoretically, I guess I don't know. 
I I mean, our, I think our matchup entirely hinges on do we have Wasteland for their their bazaar and do they have another bazaar? Why does it have to be Mystic Sanctuary? Why can't it be actual, factual, any other non-basic swamp land? Mm, I think this hand's bad. Yeah, this hand's bad. I'm gonna mulligan. This hand's much better. Uh, I would not keep this against my opponent's deck. Not the strongest Magic the Gathering card. I just don't think two Rav Traps... I, I, you don't even know if you're going to get to cast Ancestral in this game, let alone resolve an Ancestral. You could easily just get Wasteland and lose the game on the spot, right? I think there's like just way too many... Uh, the, the range of hands that my opponent could have kept that would just demolish that were far too high. Jeez. Okay. Okay. Are we just on Tinker and Prey? Can we draw a blue card at least? I want to hold this sapphire in case they vigor me. I'm going to go to... Okay, Golgari Grave Troll, Strip Mine again, two horrors we're stopping. All right, this is fine. This is fine. I just looking, uh, just need a blue card. Blue cards? Blue card? Well, if they did force my jailer, then that would have been a good thing. I wanted to play the less valuable spell. I'm trying to get forcible backup for my tinker. But I don't think I have time anymore. Well, now they could easily have Tinker. They drew three, uh, Force of Will. They could, have, they could have Force of Negation. Or, and they drew three more cards. I'm pretty sure if you cast Tinker here, it gets countered and you lose. Which is why I was hoping one of these two cards would have been a blue card, so I would have had Force Backup. Unfortunately, I'm not a powerful enough wizard to put a blue card on top of my library. I just don't know how many more turns I really get to try to find a blue card. I mean, they could have had a negation the whole time. They have four negation for Force of Will. It's not like this got rid of any negations in their hand. I really think I needed a blue card to back up my force. But I just I'm, now I'm just trying to figure out if I have time to try to draw a blue card off the top versus them activating again and having um, double force. I take another five and I go to nine. I play a blight steel. I attack. They block with a hollow one. I think I'm supposed to wait again. 
Well, I guess now if I get Force of Vigor, I actually can't cast my Tinker, so that was pro it's, maybe it's bad. That's a problem with the way we played this. Probably should not have played this Ruby out. I fucked that up. I should not have played this Ruby out. At least now I can't get end of turn Force of Vigor, but... I shouldn't I should not have played either of these out. Yeah. Alright. So I'm gonna get Force of Vigor. They might even have Mindbreak Trap back up for this Force of Vigor. Oh, they have sure. That's fine. Like, there are definitely, theoretically, games where you just cast Tinker on the first turn and maybe you win, but it just doesn't make any sense having Force of Will in my hand to make that play. Activating? I mean, that's a sign they never had anything. They're going to go down to two cards here. Uh, Alright, blue card, blue card, blue card, blue card gets me a Blightsteel. I, I can't, guys, I can't. I just fucking can't. Force of Will and Force of Negation. I, I mean, I drew three cards. None of them were blue. I don't know what to say. I really just had no other choices here, right? Like, what? I mean, I had other choices. They just were wrong. My three draws were what? Three lands? Or three Moxen, I guess. All right, if I draw the the thief that has death touch, right? Thief that has death touch. Is this a rogue? Not a rogue. This doesn't do it. I needed the other one. I mean, I think we just win the game if we had drawn a blue card at any point, right? But we didn't, so we lost. This doesn't even save me because I'm pretty sure the best play is to block this Ruwala chump here and then try to draw, I, I don't know, something else. I don't actually have removal for this hollow one in my deck. That wasn't the plan. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just, like, fuck. Yeah, but the problem is I don't have a Jailer anymore, which means they can discard Squee Horror Horror. Oh my god, no. Look at this, look at this, look at this. They milled- what? The mill was two more Squee? I'm way too unlucky to play Magic. Magic is not the game for me. Mag Magic is just not the game for me. Look at this shit. Look at this. They're 20 cards deep. They have three horrors and four squee. 20 cards deep. Just go next, man. Okay, chat, welcome back to round three of the Mythic Society Weekly. Before anyone comments on the damn YouTube video, yes, it's possible 
that last round, I was supposed to maybe block the Chump the Hollow one and not block the Raskin Root Wall so that I could have given myself a top deck out of the, the Death Touch guy. I didn't think that through, uh, obviously, but it's okay. We'll play even better this round. Trust me. There's no way it could possibly get worse, right? Right? Please? All right, it's okay. We got a cool opponent tonight. We're playing against Patrick, and Patrick has the the sweetness. The one Oka, one Dak Faden, two, two Hedrian Crab, two Quandrix Apprentice, an Excavator, a Reclaimer, an Uro, a Tireless Tracker, because, you know, just in case we need a, a target off our one Green Sun Zenith. Also, you know, two Fast Bond, two Valkyrie Exploration, two Underworld Breach, two Loam, and, yeah, a Brain Freeze to go, you know, with the crop rotation and those kind of cards. Don't forget the Orboro and Wasteland package. It's a sweet one. Uh, my hand doesn't do a whole lot, but, you know, pretty powerful hand, so let's definitely keep it. All right, well, they get to see my hand, otherwise known as cheating. Chat, 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 you're off base here. Popper was already a format, it got removed, and Modern and Legacy have always been a Mox format and have been on the side, uh, in the same uh, qualification circuit as Vintage, so. Uh, I could force that, but I don't want to. Seems like a poor use of my force of will. What do you have? Show me the deets. As long as I force a fast bond, I think we'd be okay. They do have Orboro, so they can mill me for three every turn. But not a whole lot else going on there. Let's start with... Mm, I'm walk. Hmm. Maybe it's pretty dangerous better. Try to find a creature. Strip mine, Mox Pearl. I kind of don't want either of these. I guess a strip mine's not terrible. But I think I'd rather try to find action. So I technically have Hardcast Force of Will here. Um, which is nice. My Soaring Thought Thief will fuel their Dig Through Time, which is not great. I just, there's a, there was an Opposition Agent on the top of my deck. I don't wanted that. I got a, a lot of colorless mana, huh? A lot of colorless mana. All right. I'm not sure I like how this deck is constructed. Certainly doesn't feel like I have ways to utilize this mana base. Yeah, but I don't know why you're saying that, Colby. Doesn't make any sense based on previous. Oh God! Now there's a life from the loam in the yard. Uh, they chose not to cast Orbor uh, Oro, Oro. Unfortunately, this dig through time is also going to turn off my plus one plus zero to all rogues. You hate to see it. Yeah, this doesn't feel like the strongest play I can be making, milling my opponent in Vintage. <laughs> I say as there's a Hedron Crab across the table, but... Which Delve spell do I counter? Either or? The first one? No, no, Colby, that's not... It's either going to be Vintage or Popper. They are just waiting to choose whether it'll be Vintage or Popper based on how many people are playing. 
I have not drawn anything of value. The only card that I wanted was this opposition agent that got milled. Are we going to cast the instant speed dig through time so that this thing gets one less power? Oh, value. Absolute value. Well, it's not determined, but it's based on historical what are the mox formats. Um, the mox event itself has been vintage cube and modern, uh, or or like a um, uh, just like a, a special for, a special draft format in modern, like a modern horizons or a or a modern masters format and um, and modern. But the qualifying formats have just been. Maybe I do have to counter the Oro. I actually should probably play this Mana Crypt so I can cast the Force of Will after. Yeah, it might end up being Modern... I, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know when the Slasher's Mox is scheduled for, but that could totally be um, Modern Horizons and Modern Draft. Yeah. See? It is. So, I, I... This deck is just not very good, is it? <laughs> to be fair, I guess I've drawn a, a whole lot of mana-producing things and a whole not lot of preordains and, and spells that matter, but... At the same time, I just don't think our deck is very powerful. Ah! Fuck. A good draw. I have one of those in my deck, too. <sighs> you drew a Flusterstorm Ancestral as your two unknowns? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Sure. I don't think this is what everybody meant by PT prep, just in happy one, why? It's okay, I had to stream at least one vintage match after I didn't stream on Saturday, right? I'm not actually having very much fun, though. My deck does not seem to be as strongly constructed as I thought it was. I played a league with this deck, and it was a pretty convincing, like, 3-1, or 3-4-2, or 3-2, 3-1... It wasn't a 4-1. It was a 3-2 that could have been a 4-1 or something like that. But um, we're just getting absolutely ranched in these matches. Uh... Yeah. Glad we didn't draw Flusterstorm. I just, I don't know. It's just going so badly. I don't actually like the standard and historic rogues decks. Um, I have tried playing them because I tried testing rogues for the last Pro Tour I played. And it didn't like it. So my opponent uh, picks up their Orboro and replays it and mills me out for 13 times 3. Alright, so what do we bring in against uh, my opponent's two Hedron Crab random cards that are in rug colors deck? I guess Ravenous Traps? Like, I don't even think Fatal Pushes are good against my opponent. I don't, I don't know. I don't think my deck is good is the problem. I think this Mana Crypt is terrible. It's going very bad, not me. It's going very bad. <laughs> Jailer does not stop Underworld Breach. Uh, that is not how Jailer works.
if you have a jailer in play and someone puts an underworld breach, it then puts that effect on all the cards in the yard and the jailer doesn't do anything. Yeah, they have Oko and Dak baited in their deck. So they technically can answer Blaze Colossus. I I thought this deck was like pretty playable when I when I tested it, and it just turns out that I think I might have drawn pretty well in my league. So I don't know. It's not like I played very well in round one or two either, which has been kind of a reoccurring theme for my vintage matches recently. So I was thinking about streaming a prelim tonight at 10, but I am now starting to think that I will not do that uh, just because not super into it. Like, why did I register this card? It actually does nothing. <laughs> it fuels my opponent's Uros and Dig Through Times and Life from the Loves. Yeah, I need like 10 more QPs. I can just play two leagues and 5 of them both, right? That's totally how it works. Yeah, I would I actually would rather play leagues. Uh, force of will. Because right now, I do not want to play a standard prelim and stay up to whatever hour and wait for other players and stream. So. Um, yeah, force my, force my Ancestral. All right, they just did not force my Ancestral. Okay, so I got to discard a card. Whoops. Um... Seems so unnecessary. Ruby that doesn't cast anything and Scalding Tarn. I think it's taunting me. I think that I, I think magic is just taunting me. I like <sighs> fucking I discarded the soul ring. I gotta get this force out of their hand, though. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to get the force out of their hand. I don't really play I don't really play cards that you need to force besides Tinker. Maybe this deck needs thought seizes. They're gonna get so many lands from their Quantrix apprentice because I chose not to bring in Fatal Push for their two Quantrix apprentice, two Hedron Crab, one Reclaimer. So much value. Is it correct to wasteland in the face of a crop rotation? No, it's not. Even if we mental misstep it, we still don't get value from our wasteland, really. I didn't I bottom you? 
Maybe misstepping will bait out the force. Maybe. Whenever it or another rogue enters the battlefield, they mill. Right, so I don't have to do that yet. I, have, I just really played a 1-1 one, one flash. Brilliant. All right, what is my plan here? I have this useless rap trap that could have been the fluster storm. It could have been fluster storm. That would have been useful. Wait, what? We're just playing this? We don't care about wasteland anymore? Ah, lightning bolt on my Thieves Guild Enforcer. Not my Thieves Guild Enforcer. I mean, I could misstep it, but why? <laughs> why would I do that? Ooh, I hit their Ancestral. And their Dig Through Time. Uh, fine. I'll misstep it. I have three, two death touchers. Look at them. Look at the value. This is better than Delver of Secrets. Probably. Oh, get the Force of Will. Nah, I couldn't get the Force of Will. Scheming Symmetry. These are not the ones that attack and mill, though. Unfortunate. All right, I'm going to bottom both of these. Okay. Get in there. It's, it's hopefully it won't be like last time where we couldn't draw a blue source for our, uh stop killing my thieves it's so rude what it does mean though is they're less likely to have had another um another you know interactiveness interactiveness another interactiveness yeah that's the, that's exactly what i wanted to say Good job, Justin. Blue card, baby. Blue card, one time. Looking for blue cards. Ooh. All right, I don't hate that one. Get in there, 3-2 Death Toucher. What if we opposition agent their regrowth? Oh, Thieve Guild Enforcer down. Or not their regrowth, their crop rotation. This could get forced. Then we can tinker without mercy. Will you allow it? They might just crop rotation now, right? That could be possible. Why am I playing Ravenous Trap? Oh, for the Underworld Breach combo. Right, I forgot about that. <laughs> I mean, that's not a very good use of Ravenous Trap. I should probably not have that in my deck. All right, all right, we got rid of the Force of Will. Now if we can have a blue card, and they don't have Flusterstorm. Mother... All right, I'm going to play around Flusterstorm by playing the Fetch Land. There's no Pyroblast in their deck, right? Oh, there's only one Pyroblast in their deck. Hmm. I definitely am okay with keeping that on top, I think. Five... Five life to counter a spell? Brilliant. Uh, all right.
Guess I'll fetch that. Yeah, the vibes, I'm in, I'm in. All right, I think we went win this game. I'm feeling okay about this one. Even if they like, Crop rotate for a glacial chasm. We have a wasteland on our top of our deck. Uh, so silly. They have so many lightning bolts are in their deck. You guessed it. No, it was actually three. I was gonna say it was two. I think I'm just letting this happen. Don't think I care. If you'd like to crop rotate, you can crop rotate. Sure, why not? We'll borrow. Wow, that was really bad. I guess I can just fetch away things if I want to, but I wanted to wasteland there, Trop. I guess I can just go Asian wasteland, I guess. I mean, it's open deck list, so there's really no point in that. Maybe I was supposed to daze my own spell so that I could pick up my Mystic Sanctuary and put Time Walk back on top. Too late now because I played a, a, a Wasteland, but it's, it's, that probably was lethal. I probably missed lethal there. I was, I think, you know, Wastelanding their only green source is pretty good as well, but... I'm not convinced that we should have this Ravenous Trap in, even though they have Underworld Breach and Life from the Loam and Uro. Maybe it's fine. Doesn't exactly synergize with our rogues, <laughs> which is, you know, something. Maybe we just have one that we can tutor for and one f and two flusters. Right, we'll, we'll have one Fluster, one Rav Trap, and one Fatal Push. That way we can use our Scheming Symmetry to the best of our uh, ability. Perfect. Just good deck building. Just how I drew it up. Yeah, I'm not convinced that this deck wants... The five box in mana base. I'm not convinced this deck wants Wasteland. Or at the very least, maybe you want Death Ray Shaman and cut. I don't know. Tinker is kind of the best part of this deck, so it's, it's, it's real weird. Uh, I mean, it is nice to play four opposition agent with your your bleak, big blue Moxon Tinker shell. That is kind of nice. I don't hate that part of it. It's like the eight other rogues that I have a problem with. <laughs> you know, the, the whole idea of the deck. <laughs> I sure hope we don't get turn one fast bond. They only have two fast bond in their deck. Like, what's the, what's the likelihood they have a turn one fast bond, right? Schemes. Okay, hold on. Maybe we can pull something off here. Uh, so we 
are one mana short, right? No, 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 no. We can go scoring, thoring, soaring thoughts, thor, soaring thought thief, and time walk on this turn. And then on the next turn, we can symmetry for ancestral, draw it with preordain, and then cast ancestral recall. But that seems actually like kind of worse than just wastelanding them. So, but this could be my opportunity to extract value from this seeming symmetry. They have a hedron crab, so they can also, you know, mill us. I get to resolve an ancestral recall. How bad could this play be? No, no, no. I'm going to go Soaring Sky Thief Time Walk and then Symmetry. Oh, yeah, I am one mana short. Fuck. You're damn right. I still think I'm supposed to go Soaring Sky Thought Thief and Time Walk and then Wasteland, though. Well, Ancestral in hand isn't great against known Flusterstorm. I'm not sure. Maybe I can think of something better to do. Maybe I just get something else. Well, that's an ancestral. I think Wastelanding is still, like, my best line, though. So I'm just going to preordain Wasteland and attack. Jeez, no thank you. Not a bad draw, though. That kind of, kind of works. Got one of their fast bonds out. That's good for us, because we probably couldn't have beaten that. <laughs> uh. They are further away from Brainstorm, fetch land, which is nice. I don't think we're going to be able to extract any value from our symmetry here, unfortunately, now, because they also have a way to break our top deck tutor war. It's just a classic standard matchup. They're, you don't want a top deck tutor against these, these bad boys. Crabs. Bad crabs. Still, I don't really have very many plays to make here with my opponent having Flusterstorm open. Which is problematic. They milled themselves. Well, that certainly bodes well for our Thieving Sky Thought thought thing. Thieving Sky Thought thing. Yeah, that's the one. I didn't bring in... I brought in one Fatal Push, so we could always draw that. Force. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, no, no, no. If I cast Merchant Scroll, it would almost assuredly be Flusterstormed here. My biggest problem is I would love to cast this, but this fetch land is prohibitive of that. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to attack and pass. They did board in Glacial Chasm. I think I'm going to Fluster Storm a Brain Freeze if they cast it. I kind of now do need to draw one of the lands I bottomed, <laughs> which is really silly. I'm actually like we're kind of greatly regretting not going for the symmetry line, but I guess they would have had land brainstorm, which would have been problematic. It's 
That's a good draw. At least I can cast something. Again, I don't think I'm allowed to like symmetry because they have a fetch land heart crab. I don't want either of these. I want to just either be a land or. I think I'm supposed to cast those, even though they can fluster storm it if they want. I just want to land. I shouldn't have bottomed all these lands, I guess. I. I. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm playing so bad. I also feel like I'm getting punished over and over. Oh my god, they're extracting value from their brainstorm by using the mill trigger. Why are my cards so bad? <laughs> No. <laughs> this deck is not playable. My opponent milled black. Am I going to get like, I guess they are just milling for breach combo, right? So we're going to just, just die, right? Do we die to breach right now? Probably. Yeah, we're just dead. We're just dead. They go, they go breach with Flusterstorm back up and I can't. And then they just, I don't know, Valakut Exploration or something. I don't know. I, I clearly played this match terribly, but also why? Why does it hurt so bad? Wait, did they just force something? Why didn't they just fluster? All right, chat, what do they do? They... What do they do with this? They just play a Valakut expiration? What, what, is, what, what, is the, what is the line? Cast Treasure Cruise, maybe? Oh, they have fast bond. They kill us, right? They have fast. No, let's see. They flashback fast bond and then they have one, two, three plus 12, 15 times three is 45. They have exactly lethal. They have exactly lethal, right? I'm getting exactly fast bond lethal. It did turn out that my opponent had uh, Force of Will and Flusterstorm back up, so I guess it wouldn't have mattered very much either way. But I wish I had not used my blue mana so I could have tried to Flusterstorm their Brainstorm. Oh, it was just not very well played. Oh, they also have extra mana from Black Lotus. So they have tons and tons of mills. And I'm very, very, very dead. Very, very, very dead.
Was that only round three? I have to do this again. Oh, God, I have to play another game. Okay, all right. So be it. So be it. Okay, welcome to the fourth and final round of the Mythic Society Weekly. We are playing against fellow Vintage Mox Qualifier winner, Slasher. Slasher is on uh, the deck that he won the Vintage Mox Qualifier with, Combo Shops. So just a, a very powerful 1-2 bracket tonight in our casual Vintage FNM, where I was beat by all two ofs. <laughs> Dot decks. Oh boy. All right, all right, all right. What do, what do we think about this hand? Jeez. I think this is a keep versus combo shops, to be honest with you. Snap keep my seven here. Hopefully Slasher mulligans to a sphere resistance hand and not a combo hand. And we really get them. Leyline. Workshop. <laughs> Trina Spear. Yeah, all right. That's a classic Slasher. It's a classic Slasher line here. Uh, never fear. I have, I have lands. I swear to God, if he just plays a helm... Mirage Mirror. Okay. Time Walk. Okay. Wasteland. This is the. Come on, Slasher! Fuck off, you fucking piece of sh. Fuck! <laughs> Yeah, this is why this is why he's he won five thousand dollars playing vintage. I guess I technically could have drawn a wasteland here. My top two draws. I shouldn't have conceded. I could have gone land, crack everything, time walk, draw a wasteland, hit this, hope that they don't have any mox in mana for the rest of the game. Ah, whatever. It's not worth it. <laughs> All right, I got energy fluxes and a swamp and a blight steel colossus. Try again. Fucking slasher gameplay, man. <laughs> oh, this hand's so bad. I think this is just bad. Got a mulligan. Of course, classic. Don't worry. Found Ancestral Recall. Everything is okay. Snake on three. Sure. What do you got? Workshop? Espion Sage. Flux you! <laughs> right back at you, Slasher! Right back at you.
Wasteland me. A bold play. <laughs> no permanence for you. Fantastic. Would play again. Now that is just classic vintage magic right there. <laughs> no, did you see what happened to me in game one? I'm not the monster. No, assuredly not. Wait, aren't, aren't I supposed to have like force of wills and 50% of my openers? Yeah, it's because the rogues are horrible. Here we go. Here we go. This is this is the hand right here. <laughs> what do you mean we're villains? How am I a villain? I'm just a kind, loving rogue player. I'm just your neighborhood rogues player. That one I don't think I care about. I think that's fine. Might not be fine. They could always, you know, have another land and then maybe it just clocks me fast enough. I was more worried about like a follow up helm or something. That's so bad, though. Ancient Tomb is really, really bad for me here. A little bit of flux in my life. Hopefully I don't die. But I'm not super confident at the moment. So they have enough mana to pay for two things this turn. I don't know. That's the math for them to do and me to figure out later. Uh, I'll just watch to see what they do. I think so. I can't actually chump this thing. I need to find a wasteland for this ancient tomb. They held the mirror. Weird. Ooh, Urborg is a good draw. Urborg is a good draw there. Hmm. This is problematic. Um, I think that will matter. Opposition agent. I think we'll just ask Hercules Recall. Or not Hercules Recall, Ancestral Recall. Demonic for a second flux. That's not enough. Unfortunately. Ambush Viper is not, it's a 5-5 five five chat. It's a 5-5. Five five. <sighs> Don't know if I can get out of this. So... The Rogue doesn't have Death Touch because they don't have 8 cards in their yard. I didn't board in a, a fatal push. So the problem is, if I, if I demonic tutor for an energy flux uh, and I play it next turn, then they can pay four for this thing and it will kill me. If I demonic tutor for a wasteland, I can wasteland one of the two things, but then they will still kill me. So I need both. But I can't have both. I could just tinker a Blightsteel Colossus, but I don't have a Moxin. Oh, no, I can't tinker a Blightsteel Colossus because they have this Mirage Mirror. Uh, I 
I guess what I can do is I can play an agent and a thieving sky thing. So let's see, I go to five and I go to four. If I just play an agent as a chump blocker and I use the wasteland this turn and then find another wasteland. What would I do with ski thieving skimmetry? Double wasteland is not good enough because I, I can't cast anything this turn shot. I've used all my mana. Wait, I guess I could... No. Could get their Black Lotus? And wouldn't I just get my own Black Lotus? Nothing with time walk. Unfortunately, the flux isn't good enough. Well, I can only, like, I can't wasteland this turn. So I have to, like, tutor a wasteland and draw another wasteland. I guess I have two turns to draw a wasteland because I have an opposition agent to chunk block with. Chunk block with. Well, I have to wait two turns because I can't even wasteland this turn. Symmetry is not a play. That doesn't work, chat. I, that, uh, I can't play Opposition Agent and Symmetry on the same turn and wasteland that turn. That's not good enough. I can, no, no, no. So what I can do is better than flux and hope for wasteland is take a wasteland now, use opposition agent and strip mine uh, to buy me one more turn and then hope on the next turn that I can draw a flux or a strip mine. Why am I at four? Because I was at nine. So now I can draw a flux or a strip mine or a wasteland. Sorry, for flux or a wasteland. Hmm. I mean, if they have another Ancient Doom, I lose, right? But Surprise, we're just going to lose to a 5-5. I, 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 theoretically, I could have brought in... <laughs> they only have two... They have four Stone Crow Serpents. I guess, theoretically, I could have brought in some Fatal Pushes, but... I don't know. Kind of seems like shite. They just have double mocks. All right. So, we actually have no outs now, right? Classic slasher. Just give me no outs. <sighs> Fucking fuck. 
That's pretty sad. All right, so end of <laughs> slasher. You know you can do that with other decks, right? Like you could just play a real deck and cast Serpent. <laughs> you don't have to play all the bad cards in your deck. Uh, all right, all right, all right. So this deck looks like pretty bad. Um, the idea of of mana and opposition agent and tinker seems fine, but the the, the thieves are just so bad, and so are the the all all of these thieves are just so bad. And the mana is so bad. And unfortunately, we're going to have to scrap this one. Uh, rogues, I do not advise you playing. You're much better off playing ninjas. <laughs> nin nin ninjas, much better. <laughs> oh, so sorry that we got kind of ran around in this. Um, in this match. No, I had a force of will slasher. I just chose not to force of will your serpent because i would rather force a willow card that mattered but it just turned out that you had enough things to beat a flux so it didn't work out so uh yeah so like i said don't 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 uh don't play rogues um sorry about not posting on saturday and sorry about this video didn't go very well but um if you if you like watching me suffer make sure you like comment and subscribe that helps me out grows the channel uh, and make sure that you tune in on this Saturday and hopefully we will play a challenge all the way through 1 p.m. Eastern uh, on my Twitch channel. Thank you.